Welcome, everybody. Why you attend? I am glad you attend, really. But I think that you have an important work then to be on this presentation. Before when, then we start, feel free to ask about the presentation, not the beer or something like that. And let's start. Today is a good day for your GitHub projects. Why? Because your projects will be moved on the higher level. I do not want to go to the, uh, through the agenda, but why you go there to listen to this talk? Because in your GitHub projects, you are testing on the one Linux distribution. If you test for your project in the one distribution. And our motivation is, or maybe, maybe I will start differently. Do you know what you are shipping? to your Linux distribution? Maybe, who knows? Only to one, but we would like to bring you a new possibility to test your projects, not in the one, but in the different Linux distributions, like Fedora, CentOS, and? Debian. No, RHEL. <laughs> but if this is a good fee, uh, RFP for testing farm. What is the outcome? Outcome is our tool. Shh. Wife is calling. Uh, our tool is called testing farm as a GitHub action, which will help your projects to test it and to guarantee what you are shipping. I like this slide. This slide. Because especially being covered, shift left. Because we are trying to move every hour code close to the development. And again, I'm asking you, do you know what are you shipping? And are you sure that your code is working properly, not only the one distribution, but on the several? I don't think so. But this is good talk for you. You can do everything. And when, or especially, we will show you that it is possible. Your turn. Okay, so let's dig deeply into the, uh, dig slightly into the technical stuff. So uh, let's start with what is even the testing farm. Uh, the testing firm is a, a testing service or testing system offered as a service. Uh, you may now compile farms. That this is something the, uh, similar, but you do not compile here. Well, nothing but you test your test here or your uh, upstream project here. Uh, you can also uh, view the testing farm as a black box, which has some of the inputs you have to provide to it and which provides you, on the other hand, some outputs. Uh, so if you want to test on the testing farm, uh, you need to uh, you need the API key. Uh, testing farm is communicating via HTTP API. Uh, the API key can be obtained from testing farm te team. Uh, then you need to uh, to have a test management tool plan. That is the tool uh, that is the plan that describes your test that initiates your uh, your environment. Uh, and then you of course need the upstream test. Uh, as an output uh, from the testing farm, you get test logs and test results. Uh, well, and uh, what is the best feature of the testing farm? Uh, I would say that it's an abstraction of the testing environment. Uh, you got a uh, uh, distribution uh, as uh, you want, for example, Fedora, CentOS, and RHEL, and you also can choose from various uh, processor architectures. At the beginning, I said we will talk about the GitHub Actions. What are the GitHub Actions? They are, or with the GitHub Actions, you are able to build, test, and deploy everything what you are able to do. The GitHub Actions automate all workflows, especially CICD, which is important. Um, the question would be, what runners can we use? Ubuntu, 
Win no, okay, Windows, and even Mac, of course. <laughs> I did not hear it. Okay, uh, with the runners, we are able to run or to go through the workflows, and we have uh, several possibilities what to do with code. First start with the merging pull request. You are able to test the pull request and push to the, for example, Quayo in, ca in case of containers. In case of release, you are able to push your code like Python, another Perl to CPAN maybe, Go, I don't know where, sorry. You are able to deploy it and push to the repositories. And what is the biggest event of this talk is issue comment. When somebody of your project create a pull request, then you are able to test it. Not only with the Travis CI, but with the testing part to the several distributions. And of course, the last is scheduled builds. What are the scheduled builds? Let's say that you have a project and you need to know whether each day, each minute, is working. And that is the aim of the GitHub Actions. This is a brief overview. Uh, so we talked briefly about testing farm and about uh, GitHub Actions. So uh, let's think now about how we can connect them together, how we can design them so we have advantages of both of the services. Uh, well, as we said, the GitHub Actions can be used for uh, describing the workflow in the YAML file and can be used for triggering the workflow. Uh, they offer runner and the runner can communicate uh, with the testing farm via its HTTP API. Uh, so we can uh, describe our uh, workflow, uh, the API and the TMT plan and the upstream test we can put into the uh, workflow of the GitHub action and uh, we can trigger the uh, testing farm as a GitHub action directly from the GitHub. Uh, well, then we can use the testing farm for executing the test, uh, which provide the benefits of various distributions and various uh, processor architectures, as I already said. And then uh, we can uh, display these uh, results of the test and logs uh, directly in the GitHub repository when the testing farm re uh, returns its outputs. Well, <clears throat> this is the workflow designed by our team, a CLR team, and how it works. And this is not only for the, our project. It can be implemented and it works in the different projects. We have already one, Leap, and uh, another one which is uh, ongoing. Well, let's say that you create pull request. First of all, you have to trigger the testing. Not automatically. Why? Because if, the, if in the pull request is, for example, destroy the whole architecture by RM-RF, this not work. This is wrong. And therefore, you have to trigger by some command. This is specified by your YAML file GitHub action. The next, who can trigger tests? You? Are you owner? No. Only owners and maintainers of this repository can run the test. This is the secure. Second one, schedule the test. Okay, second one is that the testing farm or GitHub action developed by us scheduling the uh, machine for you. CentOS stream rel. You have to write only uh, the testing management plan for it. And this action periodically checks the output. As soon as the testing is done, then we are getting the final report for you. And the last, you will see in GitHub status, what was the reason? Infrastructure problem? Can be. Failed? Your test fa has failed? Why not? Or even success on different architectures? Uh, well, uh, 
we are lucky because uh, all this is already written and uh, we don't need to write it by ourselves from the scratch. And um, this testing farm as a GitHub option, as we already presented it, is available on the GitHub, GitHub Marketplace. So um, every open source project located on GitHub can already use it. And uh, the usage is really minimalistic. The only thing, uh, besides uh, scheduling or uh, considering your trigger of the action, is that you need to uh, prepare your uh, GitHub repository. You can use for it the checkout, checkout uh, action, for example, or you can do it manually, it doesn't matter. And then you call our testing farm as GitHub action and uh, specify the two compulsory uh, inputs, uh, which are the API key, uh, in order to communicate with the testing farm API, and uh, a TMT plan. Uh, the testing farm uh, as a GitHub action is, uh, besides this, uh, highly configurable. There are so many other uh, options which can be configured, uh, but you can check it out later in the GitHub marketplace. Well, and uh, do you know what can be incoherent in this slide, or what can seem wrong? No. <laughs> Besides that, cool. uh, well, I would say uh, that's the line with the matrix, and uh, I would like to know that uh, the GitHub action, if you want to uh, run uh, some action, some composite action as is this hours, uh, you can uh, do it on uh, more uh, targets. For example, if we want more TMT plan to be run, uh, then we specify the metrics. In the metrics, we specify all the TMT plans we want to run, run this uh, action at, and then uh, just put the metrics uh, variable here in the composite action, and it will be run for all of them. So it's just a note. Yeah, because for the CentOS stream or RHEL, you can have a di totally different testing plans, and therefore, matrix is used for it. Great. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Just when you will receive the presentation, there are some links. You can take an inspiration from our GitHub Actions to your projects. If you do not want to use our GitHub Actions, let's take an inspiration. This is a free. Well, this is a real, a real life. Uh, you can see here that only owner, I don't, I don't know why I'm there, uh, can trigger the test. You can see that OpenShift 3 is not working. I don't know, maybe a regional and local life. Oh, who knows? And you can see everything. What was the, uh, what distribution was run for testing? What were, what were the details? And that's all. And of course, is the code in your repository sane? I don't think so, because there is a uh, red cross. You have to fix it. After this, when it's green, then you are able to tell to customers, yeah, our upstream GitHub repository is prepared for shipping. This is the last, but not least, this, uh, least um, presentation. There are several uh, links which can help you to integrate. Uh, first one is the, our mic marketplace. The second one is important. Why? Because when you would like to use the, these GitHub actions, you need to be onboarded to the testing farm. There are two different approaches, public or private. What is different? Simply, public is Fedora CentOS, private is REL, great. The, Sorry? Debian. <laughs> uh, I like that comment, but you have to ask the, to the testing farm to onboard to LO the Ubuntu. Ask them. Why not? Because we have to test on everywhere. The third is the, our examples with the testing farm, how we are using. And what I can tell you is that all our containers used this one. Everything works properly around the half air. And we already did uh, some ah, nice articles on the developers Red Hat com. Feel free to read it and you will see. And the questions. 
Have you already started with the implementation? Raise the hand. I like that one. Do you have a present? Where? Present? present? Nothing present? My mobile phone. Sorry. Uh, feel free to get the information from our presentation to include in your project because the customers need to be satisfied with our code. That's all. Thank you. And questions to not beer, but to presentation. No one. Do you need to uh, start testing uh, by comments also when you are maintainer or uh, in a trusted uh, maintainer team? Uh, yeah. Are, are some people waitlisted to always receive? I hope I will repeat it properly. Yeah. Uh, who is able to run this uh, testing farm? Uh, this is the great point. Thank you. Uh, only Fedora contributors, Red Hat employees, is able to onboard testing farm for now. Nobody else. Sorry. Because we are touching closely to our infrastructure, especially RHEL, and you can imagine what will happen if your code is unsane. Destroy our infrastructure for some reason. I don't know what. I mean, especially if, if only those people are allowed, is it required to uh, trigger test manually, or are they, uh, they started right after I made pull request? Uh, the question is if the uh, even if the Fedora or RHEL authors are, need to be triggered manually or automatically. No, definitely each way manually. No automatic way. It is well, really... Well, if you use our composite action, you can define by yourself how you, uh, you want to trigger the action. So you can choose from every trigger with which GitHub action provides. We use the issue command because we consider it safe, because we can check the only member or owner of the organization uh, can run the code because um, you are responsible, if you obtain the API if key, if your op organization obtain it, you are responsible for the code that is running on the testing farm. So we decided in the STL org that we want to uh, trigger the test only uh, by the comment of the uh, owner of member because we consider it the best alternative. But if you uh, use this action, you can uh, do it whatever you want, but yeah, you are responsible for it. But, uh in the testing farm onboarding uh, page is mentioned that uh, the automatic triggering of the test is not allowed. And you have to somehow clarify that this will not be done automatically. I don't know why this was an NDA, let's say. But thank, thanks for the question. Uh, sorry, I don't get it. So I presume the testing farm runs containers. Yes. Yep. 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 Uh, the question is uh, that our this this testing testing farm action is run on the containers. If it's able to uh, run it on RPMs and stuff like that, definitely. This is not only for the container work. This is for every project. Did I answer correctly? Go ahead. Uh, do you support uh, uh, process registration? No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, by design, the testing, uh, the question was whether testing farm is able to run on the multi-architecture. Uh, testing farm as a service is able to be run on multi-architecture uh, systems, but our GitHub Actions is not able to do it now, and I personally, I don't know if we would like to get to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Can be, of course, this is uh, the testing farm as a GitHub action is an upstream project. Feel free to file uh, issue, and we will dis uh, discuss it with the testing farm team. We will see. Why not? Thanks for questions. Really, thanks for questions. And 
good, really sparky. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>